Hello everybody, this is Sleepy Sluff. Not Sleepy Stuff, I don't know why people get that wrong. Anyway, I have recently been in the Wings of Fire fandom. And in that fandom, there's a game called Roblox Wings of Fire. And in that game, it kind of reminded me of an old game that I used to play a lot. And it kind of made me want to have these things in the Wings of Fire game. I've only been on here for a few weeks, but it's been pretty nice. I've met a lot of people, and it's a very nice community so far. I can't wait to spend more time on this game. So, I'm assuming most people already know what Roblox Wings of Fire is, but if you don't, I'll explain it really simply. A couple of people got together and decided to make a roleplay game for Wings of Fire. Make your own character, dance around, roleplay as much as you want. That's the game. The other game's not much different. However, it has a few more creative liberties that it took and it was a little bit more lenient with things. And this game that I'm talking about is a game called Now, Feral Park is a game that I used to play so much, like in most of my early teen years, to the point where I didn't get enough sleep at night. Basically, I would come home from school, and then I would get on this game, and I would play until, like, I, I couldn't anymore, and I would just repeat that. So, if you ever wondered what my childhood was like, that's basically it. I imagine that's kind of how Wings of Fire is for people now. I hope you guys get more sleep than I did. And before I get into the backstory of Feral Heart, I might as well just explain this. I know that the developers are still working on things and the game is not complete. Not even the journey is complete at all. So I know things aren't permanent or set in stone, or maybe some of these ideas are already on the table. However, I might as well just put my opinion out there because I've been thinking about this for weeks. So I'll kind of explain how Feral Heart works and some of its mechanics that I like the most. Though I'll be leaving a lot of parts out because it would just be too long to explain. And then I'll kind of compare it to Wings of Fire and what I would like to see in it. Okay, so on to the background for Feral Heart. This was a game made in 2011, though it was based off even an older game called Impressive Title. The game is made specifically for role players, kind of like us. People made mods a lot. You could make your own maps. In the footage, you'll see a lot of white marshmallow looking characters. These are custom markings that I do not have in the game, though a lot of people still do. So if you see that, that's just an error on my part. I didn't want to download the entire uh, mods for this game. There's so many. There's still a small community within the game, and a lot of them are people that I remember from when I played like five or six years ago. So these people are dedicated. So if you do play this game, you are most likely going to be welcomed into their small community. Moving on, let's go to character creation. And this was one of the most important parts in Feral Heart. So much like Wings of Fire, there's a character creation. And this character creation, of course, only had felines and canines, but of course people got creative. So you had options for sliders, meaning it was kind of like The Sims, where you could create your character, have different kinds of cats, but also be different in a lot of other ways, more than just colors. You could change different ear styles, eye styles, different kinds of hair, even if they're kind of dated. And then you could also add these different markings for head, body, and tail segments. And then you could add items to your characters. You could also add mods to this as well and adding a bunch of items. So if you wanted wings or bat wings, you wanted sunglasses, glasses, jewelry, anything like that, you could add to your little character. And lastly, you had an RBG color palette that would be able to let you choose any colors you'd like or most of the body segments. Wings of Fire is pretty similar. You have an option of different species, tribes. I think this is really nice, though I think you should have more options, like markings. Let's say your character has a large scar over its face, it's old and withered, you change the teeth shape, let's say they're like Dune and they're missing a leg. Also sliders would be really fun. Like not every mud wing is big and chubby, not every sand wing is tiny and thin like sunny. I think that'd be very fun in the game. However, I do really like the color picker a lot more than Feral Hearts was. It was a little plain, let's just say that. 
All right, so we're done making our little character here and let's log in. So when we start in the game, we start at Lonely Cave and each character starts at Lonely Cave. We'll kind of go over our little hub area on the right in Lonely Cave and then we'll go and explore. So from here on out is pretty much what I would love to have in Wings of Fire, almost to a T. So let's just start off with the hub right now. The first one here is My Info. When you click it, it brings up your character's name, your username, and then group. We'll get into group later, but you can probably assume what it is already. Let's go to bio. So bio could be written any length, any size, any detail that you'd want. And then your home setting. This is pretty simple. Basically, if you didn't want to start out in Lonely Cave and travel so far to get to the map that you wanted to, you can reset your spawn point and reset it anytime you'd like. Next, we have actions and emotes. That was pretty much the same thing as how Wings of Fire is. All right, now we have groups. And this group was for roleplay groups. You can make your own with your own custom title and then add a bio to it, which would have, for example, a Discord, a small description, rules, character names, and anybody could see this. So if you were advertising your roleplay, then you would have that in there. Let's move to movies. This was probably one of my most favorite parts about this little hub. Most people use this to advertise their roleplay groups. So you would type in your little advertisement, much like how the arena in the Skywing Kingdom is, where people spread their wings and, and basically type in all caps to advertise for their roleplay. Well, this was pretty much it, but it was more like a movie and everyone could see it and it was a little bit easier. In the text there, you'll probably notice it saying semi-lit. I know that sounds weird. A lot of people would say literate, semi-literate, and then any literacy, which basically means how detailed and how long you wanted role plays. If you saw one saying semi-literate, you would basically reply one paragraph. That would ensure that everyone would get kind of what they were looking for. So if you wanted a short role play, that would you would get that, or a long role play, you could get that too. Once you were done making your movie and adding Adding any kind of cool effects that you'd like you would post it and then it would go on to everybody's chat in that map anybody could watch it at any time and then double click your name and personal message you about that group The last couple ones are friends, group chat, and chat. Not really needed for an explanation there. I like how the hub is in Wings of Fire. I think we would be able to add longer role plays if we added groups and more detailed bios into it. It would be a little bit more inversive as well. Next, we're gonna get into chat systems. So this was optimized mainly for role plays. I am pretty used to how this ran. I would love to see it in Wings of Fire. I think a lot of other people would like to see it too. It cleaned up a lot of mess that you didn't want to see. First up, we have local chat. It's basically what you think. Most of these are pretty much what you would think they would mean. But local chat is anyone near you that could see. So someone at the top of the map wouldn't be able to chat with you at the bottom of the map and see your messages. General chat was for the general map, so the entire map would be able to read your messages. Next was group, so if you had a roleplay group, only your group would be able to see this. There was a party chat, but it was pretty simple. If you were in a group chat and there was a smaller group going away from the roleplay and you didn't want to have it fill up the chat a lot, you would go into a party. So for example, a warrior cat roleplay, you would go into, let's say, a hunting patrol. You would add those characters into a party and you'd be able to roleplay separately until you guys became back part of the group. That was one of my favorites because sometimes it would add a little bit different perspective to the group. All right, and then lastly, we got whisper. This is for private messaging. You're whispering to somebody. Blech. Oh, jeez. So remember the movie thing that I talked about? Well, when you advertised your movie, usually people would say, whisper me to join the roleplay. You would double click their name on the movie. It would bring up their info and it would bring the option up to whisper them. That was basically just a private message. Only you and the other user could see that message. And whispers were pretty important because a lot of people would kind of interview you to see if you would be a good fit for their roleplay, depending on how literate or long or active they would be. 
I think one of the best parts about this, let's say your local chat is just a bunch of random people. It's kind of filling up your chat area really quickly and you can't read any of your group chats. Well, you could turn that local chat off and only view your group chat if you wanted to. And you could do this for any kind of, of the group types. I think this would be great in Wings of Fire. And that brings me to my next point, which is kind of off topic, but this this was something that I had a hard time and I still struggle with today. But there's a thing called roleplay etiquette, and much like Wings of Fire, there is only a small amount of text that you could put into a chat. Sometimes you weren't done writing it. You would put this at the end of your chat before you sent it to let people know that you were still writing and you didn't want anyone <laughs> that you were and when you put okay so dum dum me here forgot uh to actually put what the end of your reply was so this right here is the end of your reply that meant that you were done and everybody else could start to reply to yours so when people were not done writing their reply you typically would not reply until that person was done. So that meant that everyone had a chance to reply. Now, I don't think this is a rule that we would add to the game, but I think it would be something that other players could possibly pick up on. I, I might try it a little bit later today and see if that would work. Though I think it would be something that would be very nice, especially to people who are just starting out for role plays. And that kind of brings us to the end. Feral Heart was one of my favorite games. You could really get into those role plays and characters, and sometimes those groups would last for months. And there was some that lasted for years. There was one called the Benevolent Wolf Pack, and that was probably the most popular one with over thousands of people in that group. I would love to see that implemented and have a lot more community. I'm not saying there's not a community now. I think it could be a lot better. Now, I'm not saying this because we need this in the game or we have to have it in the game. I'm just saying this because I'd like to share my opinion, you know? I don't even know if this video will get any kind of views, and that's fine with me. But I thought we might as well go back and look at Feral Heart and remember all the fun things that we had in it. And maybe implement that into new games as well. If anybody wants to use these ideas and story and etiquettes and whatnot, you don't have to ask. Just send me the game, please. I, I want to play it. <laughs> I might as well just end this by saying don't go harassing any of the Wings of Fire Roblox creators. They're doing their best and they're basically doing this because they love Wings of Fire and I think that's just amazing anyway. All we can do is support them and be patient, you know? Though, however, I think it is a good idea to have a lot of community and open ideas for the game. A lot of things in Minecraft became a thing because of fans suggesting things. And I think that would be really nice. Anyway, if you guys like this video... No, I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> and then lastly, I'll have my Discord name in the description below. So that way if you have any other ideas or videos that you'd like me to make or go over, I will. If any of you would like me to help you create or do art for any new or upcoming roleplay games, I would love to. Just message me, please. Alright, thank you for watching and have a good day.